In a little bit of an unexpected move here, Tesla have quietly made a change to the Tesla Model 3 being sold in the United States. It's now got more range. And yet, I still don't think you should buy it for two reasons. One, there's a better choice for $1,000 more, in fact, a much better car. Or alternatively, you could do this. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to all the new subscribers this year. Great to have every one of you, but welcome back to everyone else. This channel has been up now for just on two years. And it's been it's been an amazing journey. Thank you for coming on the journey with us. 3,350 videos or around about that number. I'm pretty sure that's more than anyone else. If anyone else has done more than that about EVs and battery technology and the future of renewable energy during the last 24 months, then, well, let me know who they are and I'll, I'll, I'll call them out. I'll give them a, a shout out in a future video. In an unexpected move, Tesla has made an upgrade to the Model 3 long range all wheel drive version, specifically in terms of its estimated range. Now, the long range all wheel drive in the US and in Canada, well, the Canadian version now comes from China, but the US version comes from the US, from the factory in California. And it has CATL's lithium iron phosphate cells in that battery pack. So it's actually very impressive that Tesla gets so much range, considering it's not, a, it's not believed to be a large battery pack. And obviously lithium ion phosphate cells are meant to have a little bit less energy density than the nickel-based chemistry in say Tesla's 2170s or the 4680s. And yet the range of the Model 3 all-wheel drive is actually really, really impressive. And now it's just gotten that little bit extra impressive. On Tesla's Model 3 configurator on the website now, Tesla has said the default version has now got 325 plus miles of range. That's 523 kilometers. Now that is the 18 inch wheel model. If you want the model with bigger wheels, if you want to get the model with 19 inch wheels, the range will go down by 15 miles to 499 or 500 kilometers, but it's 310 plus miles for the range with 19 inch wheels, 325 plus miles for the model with 523 kilometers. Now, I don't know if Tesla is saying plus because they're saying, well, you know, when our cars get to zero on the odometer, when you drive your Tesla and it says zero, on average, you can do about another 27 to 30 miles on average based on tests. That's quite a lot of range still left over in the battery pack until it actually officially runs out. Now, that's based on lots of tests that I've read online and in, in videos and whatever, but that's generally the case. So I'm not sure if that's why Tesla's saying 325 plus miles. I don't usually say that. They normally give a figure, but instead of doing that, now they're saying plus. Anyhow, either way, that's more than what you'd expect from lithium ion phosphate batteries. But the new versions of these cars now come with more than that, 333 miles of range for the 18-inch wheel model, so an extra eight miles. It's now 536 kilometers in that model and 315 miles of 507 kilometers for the 19 inch wheel option. What this means is that now the long, what this means is now the Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive has exactly the same range in the 19 inch wheel option as the Tesla Model 3 performance, which comes with 20 inch wheels. So, Clearly, the battery pack is a little bit bigger in the Tesla Model 3 performance, meaning that it's getting the same range with those bigger wheels than the Model 3 long range. So 315 miles of range for the Tesla Model 3 performance, 315 miles of range for the Tesla Model 3 long range with 19 inch wheels. The challenge here is though, this, well, this does make the Model 3 a slightly better value proposition, but we don't know when the new Model 3 will come out. It could be a month, it could be six months. We really don't know at this point in time. Should you hold off and not buy a Model 3? Well, I mean, hey, depends on how much you need a car. If you really need a car, well, get one of them. If you don't, well, maybe you can wait. You can be patient and get the new model. That's probably what I would be doing, but it depends on you know what your needs are. The other thing here is, and this is the challenge. Now, while the Model 3 long range is now definitely better value, you're not paying any extra money for this car. In fact, it's cheaper than it's ever been, 47,000 US dollars. Here's the issue. 
The long range doesn't qualify for the 7,500 EV incentive. It qualifies for the $3,750 because the battery cells come from China. The packs don't, the cells do. That means the entire car doesn't get the 7,500 discount, but the performance version does. Meaning the performance version is nearly the same price. If you can get the EV tax incentive, if that's, if that, I mean, if this isn't relevant to you, don't even listen, you're wasting your time even listening to this. But if it's relevant to you, you're better off getting the performance model, I think, because you're only going to pay an extra $1,000. You're getting a car that in many ways is, I think, a much better experience. It's crazy. It's exciting. It's fun. It's going to have better resale value because it's the more expensive car. But it qualifies for the $7,500 incentive because the batteries are made solely, the cells and the packs, everything, the whole cars. And it's one of the most American-made cars in the history of the automotive industry, the Tesla Model 3 Performance. All of it is made in the United States. You get the $7,500, meaning you get an additional $3,750 versus the Model 3 long range. And therefore, that brings the price down to $48,000 for the Model 3 Performance versus around $47,000. And that brings the price down of the Model 3 long range, comes down to $46,000, but the Performance comes down to $47,000. You're actually only paying an extra just under 600 US dollars for the Model 3 Performance. The only reason I can think that you might want to not get Model 3 Performance is that you just want to get the longer range version and you'd get the 18 inch wheel option, which is 45,000 US dollars, meaning it's a $2,000 difference between the Model 3 long range with 18 inch wheels, $2,000 more for the Model 3 Performance if you qualify for incentives for both of them. And then you'd get a bit more range. And that would make sense. If you just want the more range, you want the extra range, then that would make a lot of sense because obviously if you're doing longer trips, that additional 18 miles could be very useful to you. Either way, I'm I'm impressed that Tesla has improved the Model 3 performance. I'm impressed that they're now using lithium ion phosphate cells and getting this kind of range. I don't know if any other manufacturer is getting this amount of range out of their cars from this size battery packs in cars of a similar size. I don't think there's anyone doing this with lithium ion phosphate cells. I don't know how Tesla gets this kind of efficiency out of those battery packs. We really need to mention that because this is the kind of thing that's actually quite remarkable. They're doing this and they're not saying anything. Tesla doesn't say, hey, guess what, everyone? We've just improved the range of our cars. They're using lithium ion phosphate cells and getting this kind of range. Isn't this amazing? They, don't, they say nothing. All they do is just keep the prices the same and add the range on the website that you'll expect to get and, well, provide better value. Ultimately, the Model 3 the Model 3 performance, the Model 3 long range, and the Model 3, the standard model, all of them are the best value electric cars that Tesla have ever produced, in my opinion. Do you agree with that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.